I, you know, and uh, I, I think the best investment ideas in the last uh, 30 years, mm -hmm. they're, they're dominant digital monopolies that everybody needs, nobody can stop, mm -hmm. and very few people understand. Right. And, and Amazon was like that. Mm -hmm. Apple is like that. Right. Google is like that. Facebook is kind of like that. And Bitcoin is like that. Yes, yes. They all have the same characteristic. Few people understand it. What when when few people understand it, but everybody needs it and no one can stop it, that's when to invest. Right. You could say today mm -hmm. that everybody kind of understands that they need Apple and Google and Facebook and right. and YouTube and Amazon. They understand it today. Mm -hmm. And so those aren't so good investments anymore because once mm -hmm. Once a few hundred million people agree with you, uh -huh. you're not early. <laughs> so, uh, so people disagreed on Am on Apple and Amazon a decade ago, and they were uh -huh. good investments, and they went up right. by a factor of 20 from there. Wow! And people disagree on Bitcoin today, which is why it's a good investment. Right, right, right. If because if all of the issues were worked out then it would already be 30, 40, 50 times more expensive. Wow. And it wouldn't be controversial, but you would lose 97% of your wealth. Because uh -huh. if you wait till it's a million dollars <laughs> a coin, then you're going to have to pay 20 times as much money to buy it oh. as you would otherwise be. So you have to decide, right? Do you want to run with the crowd and buy something that's, uh, that's uh, conventional that everybody agrees with you on that's mm -hmm. not controversial? Or do you want to uh, do you want to invest in something which most people disagree with you on, but is unstoppable? Uh, Bitcoin is a, it represents the digital transformation of property mm -hmm. and money and energy. Right. Whereas Google represented the digital transformation of information. Right. 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 That they were all about digital music, digital maps, digital communications, mm -hmm. um, digital messages, digital stores. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, digital energy and digital money and mm -hmm. digital property is a lot more valuable. Right. Right. You're talking about uh, did the digital energy, digital money transformation is worth half of everything the human race is. Mm -hmm. Like we have this joke. You know, we say Bitcoin fixes everything, but Bitcoin doesn't fix everything in the human race, but it fixes half right. of everything in the human right. race. <laughs> because money, money is the the backhaul energy network that we use to run the economy. Mm -hmm. So if you take the value of all goods and services and property in the economy, and then you trade it, the opposite side of the trade is the money. Money that was immortal uh -huh. and indestructible and unconfiscatable and if, um, if it was programmable, right. and if you could instantly transfer it to anyone, anywhere, wow. that's so much better than anything we've had in the history of the human race, right? right? That it's, <laughs> what's it worth? It's worth $500 trillion. Okay, so what's Bitcoin worth today? It's worth, a, it's worth one, right. less than one, right? So, Apple and Amazon and Facebook and Google, they're not going to be worth $500 trillion. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you can find a way for the company to be worth two, three, five, 10, 20 trillion. Mm -hmm. but, but the value of, uh, of digital money and digital property, right? What's property? I mean, $250 trillion worth mm -hmm. of, of real estate. Right, right. You know, so the value of those things is much higher. First of all, the question really is, are you investing mm -hmm. or are you saving mm -hmm. or are you speculating? Right. If you're a saver, you're not really investing or taking a risk on a company. You're converting a weak property to a strong property. Right. If you're an investor, you have to have at least a four year time horizon. Four years. Okay. If you're, if you're investing in something thinking you'll make money in four weeks, you're not really an investor, you're a speculator. <laughs> now, now, um, if you don't know what you're doing and you're guessing, uh -huh. you're just guessing, you're, you're just betting on black or red, I call that speculation. Okay. If, you have, uh, if you have a methodology, if you have computer programs and you have proprietary algorithms, 
and you have special information that no one else has, you can call yourself a trader, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you're a trader, but either way, you're a trader or you're a speculator, but you're not really an investor. Because if you're an investor, you have a thesis that's going to take years to play out. So I would say that if you're in, if you're looking at something as an investor and you're not going to hold it for four years, you're just speculating. You're, when you're buying Bitcoin, if you understand it, mm -hmm. I don't think you're investing and I don't think you're speculating. I think you're saving. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're saving, you're thinking I'm going to buy it for a decade. And what I would say to people is, if you're not going to hold it for a decade, for 10 years, I wouldn't even hold it for 10 minutes. If I have money uh, that I wish to save and give to my grandchildren, mm -hmm. 10 to 30 years out, or even 100 years out, I want to keep it in my family. Mm -hmm. Then you should be putting it into a portfolio property, a scarce desirable asset. So, so property, what is it? Bitcoin is digital property. Otherwise, buy the most valuable land, or you might buy trophy collectibles. Very, <laughs> you know, Leonardo da Vinci paintings, right. Picasso, mm -hmm. something that is rare and desirable and scarce. If you buy a portfolio of property that is, uh, it's not a company, it's, it's not a currency, it's something that affluent people will find desirable mm -hmm. in 10 to 30 years then that's a saving strategy. Mm -hmm. Don't check the price of it every minute if you're uh. a saver. <laughs> right. uh, let me give you one more metaphor. If you had a house yeah. and you bought a house and you loved the house uh -huh. and you paid a certain amount of money, then you'd probably be happy for a decade, 10, 20, 30 years. Over time, the house will probably go up in value. Maybe you'll put a mortgage against the house. Maybe you'll pay off your mortgage. You'll live in the house. Right. Now. What would happen if every time you went to a party on Saturday night, you went up to everybody at the party as you're drinking and you said, what, how much will you pay me for my house? I want to sell it to you right now. And maybe you paid whatever, some amount of money for the house uh -huh. and they offer you less than you paid for it. Uh -huh. Now you'd be depressed. <laughs> it, by the way, what if they offer you 20% more for the house? Would you sell the house? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to live? But um, if you keep asking people every minute of the day whether they'll buy your house from you, you're gonna find some people that are gonna say, they're gonna offer you a price less than the price you paid uh -huh. and you'll just be always unhappy. Right. <laughs> and the same is true with any other property you own. I have to save some money uh, and give it to my great, great grandchildren in a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Your choice is Bitcoin or something else. What's the something else that's better? Talking about the price of Bitcoin, do you see $1 million, $1 million Bitcoin in our lifetime? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that, uh, that uh, Bitcoin is first going to flip gold. And when it flips right. gold, it should be about a $500,000 uh, coin uh -huh. asset. Right, right. But I think Bitcoin is also going to replace bond indexes and real estate and other sorts of property investments. Mm -hmm. And I think there's no reason why it shouldn't go to a hundred trillion dollars. That would put right. it at five million a coin. Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely think it'll happen. Like the question is really just over what time frame. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm much more uh, bullish on uh, the monetary network of Bitcoin today than I was even 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. I think everything that's happened in the last 12 months has been very, uh, very healthy for the asset class. Mm -hmm. I think the movements of the regulators uh, are good for Bitcoin. I think institutional adoption has enhanced and has improved for Bitcoin. <clears throat> I think Lightning uh, Network is great for Bitcoin. I think that the macroeconomic trends are very bullish and, and very favorable for Bitcoin. I think the political trends, uh, what we've seen uh, throughout the world is very uh, auspicious for Bitcoin. I think people are seeing that Bitcoin is synonymous with freedom, economic empowerment. Mm -hmm. It's also synonymous with technology. It is the technology transformation of digital energy, digital money, digital property, digital assets. So if I was interested in Bitcoin, I, I would feel more confident in my decision today than I was six months ago or 12 or 18 months ago. Wow.